I love these stories, Michael, because we can all get involved and everyone's got to take. I want to know what you think about this. So let's take a look at this particular art. Uh, what we're talking about is not finished. That's what the artist is saying. Please hold off your judgments. But this is at the new interchange at the Trans-Canada Highway in Beaufort. This is in Calgary. And what Del Geist, this is the New York artist who has created this, has come up with is something that uses material from the local community. For example, Rundle Rock Stones. They are found only in Alberta. And that is something that the artist has stressed. Now, the manager of arts and culture with the city of Calgary, her name is Sarah Eiley, she ended up issuing a statement to talk about the meaning of this sculpture. I don't know that the artist agrees with her meaning. Have a listen to what she said earlier this week. There are four towers, and those four towers relate to the Blackfoot cultural symbolism that talks about the four elements, the four stages of life, the four seasons. And so that was another really important piece to get in. Okay, well, the artist himself, a little bit later after that, said, mm, no, I don't believe that that was the initial talk that we had. Uh, it wasn't really based on, on the Blackfoot community. And, and indeed, though, he admits that they, there were conversations with the nation and they did talk about it. And, you know, Callum Teki Dan is an Indigenous artist in Calgary, and he described it as, quote, an eyesore under construction. Other people have referred to it as... What is this, scaffolding? Is it paperweights? You know, some people aren't so sure. Uh, but this Indigenous artist is saying, listen, if they wanted some Aboriginal inspiration, they should have talked to some of the Abor Aboriginal artists or had us create something, not an artist from New York. So that's some of the some of the issue here. Either way, a public art, 1% of infrastructure projects in Calgary, it, the money does go toward a public art. And in general, it really is a great idea because it gets all of us talking about a lot of different issues. Mm -hmm. and, and for a city to actually dedicate money for public art is so rare these days. It's a wonderful initiative, although controversial in this sure. case. Tell us more Eye about of the people. beholder, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, tell us more about what people are saying here. Okay, so, you know, with this particular one, it did come under budget at under half a million dollars, $71.1 million was the price of the infrastructure surrounding this particular artwork. And uh, so some people are saying, you know, with people losing jobs in Calgary, is it really the right time? Again, the other argument to that is with public art, there's just never a right time to spend that kind of money. It really is something that you do because you believe in art. Okay, so let's talk about some of the other art projects that have been in Calgary that also were under some controversy. Do you remember the giant red ball? This is one that moved from city building to different city building, and it was a play way to get people to uh, to kind of take a second look at their environment. That was one of them, and some people did not like the price tag on that one, $33,000. Now, Bloom, here's another one that you're looking at. This was a, a street light sculpture off of St. Patrick's Island, and by the way, uh, about half a million for this public work of art, and birds built nests in it at the top. The artist said, I don't care, I love it. This one here, a lot of people uh, call this one a light ring, or the blue ring, uh, a blue hoop, rather, and this is, uh, you know, another Another one of those pieces that some people say, I just don't understand it, but artists say, give it a chance, learn more about it, and you might even come to love it.